Hi everyone, welcome to Rike Sports and our preview for the Snooker Masters Tournament which gets underway this Sunday the 10th of January. Unfortunately, they've had to move its location from its usual place in Alexander Palace, London to the Marsh Arena in Milton Keynes. This is due to the coronavirus situation in the UK so the tournament has to be played behind closed doors. The tournament does go ahead on TV but we're there to watch it so looking forward to seeing the best 16 players in the world compete in this. It's an invitational event, not a ranking event. So they invite only the top 16 in the world, so we'll see some really competitive snooker and it's a very prestigious tournament, it's one of the triple crown events that the players really want to win. So, really strong field and if we look back to the previous winner from last year, the defending champion going into this one is Stuart Bingham, he beat Ali Carter 10-8 in the final of that one. The player to win this tournament the most is Ronnie O'Sullivan with 7 wins. He didn't play in last year's tournament, he decided to sit it out but he's back for this year's edition. And looking forward to seeing him again in this really strong field of players. So we look at the players' form for this season. Let's first look back at the last major tournament of the season. That was the UK Championships. It was one head of a tournament. We saw some really great snooker throughout. And you can see throughout the tournament from the start, the two players that looked in the best form were Judd Trump and Neil Robertson. And they carried that right through to the final where they met in what was a great final. The snooker was... Different to what we saw in the build-up between the players where they were scoring lots of centuries. There was not so many centuries in the final. There's a lot of intriguing tactical battles and the balls not going like how the players would want them to go. Which caused a lot of problems for them to have to solve and made it for really intriguing watching. And the match went on till 1am and there was never more than one frame between them. It was like always one player would go one ahead and the other one would come back and level the match. And that continued right the way through until the final frame so we didn't know who was going to win right until the end edge of the seat stuff the final frame went to the pink and Neil Robertson potted that pink to win the championship so congratulations to him for that and he has been in great form throughout the season he made a couple of finals before this tournament he lost out to Judd in the deciding frame again in the English Open 9-8 in that one and he got, also got to the champion of champions final and lost that one to Mark Allen so he's in really good form Another player in really good form is Mark Selby. He's won a couple of tournaments this season. He won the first one of the, of the season, that was the European Championships, and then recently won the Scottish Open. And the player that is in the best form of all, though, is Judd Trump. He's the world number one, and he's won three tournaments this season. As I was saying, the English Open against Neil Robinson, and he also won the Northern Ireland Open, beating Ronnie O'Sullivan 10-8 in the final of that one. And then he won recently the World Grand Prix, that was the last tournament to be played and done really well that one. He beat Jack Lewiski 10-7 in the final of that one. And having come back from the disappointment of losing the UK Championship, he done really well. He came back the week after actually played the Scottish Open. Didn't go too well for him on that occasion. Didn't win that one, but he did the following week win the World Grand Prix. And definitely having won three titles this season, add to that the six ranking titles he had won last season. The last couple of years he's been in unbelievable form and definitely he's the man to beat. Really he's looking dominant and it's going to be difficult for any of the other players I believe to beat him this week. But let's break it down and look at the how the format of the tournament is. So as I was saying, it's a 16 man field so we haven't got a big field where you have round 1, round 2, round 3 and then you get into the last 16 quarter final. So in fact, it's straight into the last 16 and there's 8 matches there, there four. If we look at each one, one by one, we've got Stuart Bingham taking on Tep Chai Unna. Difficult match to predict that one. Both really good players. I'd say neither been in the greatest of form this season. And just recently, in the, this week itself, in the Championship League, watching them both play, they don't both seem in good form. And difficult to call, but you would give it edge to Stuart with experience, being the defending champion as well. He is a former world champion as well. Going to give it edge to him, and I think he will come through a close match there. Next up, we've got Sean Murphy and Mark Williams. Again, close match. Neither player has been in the greatest form this season or the last couple of seasons, you would say. But again, both are former world champions. Should be a really close match. I'm going to go for Mark Williams to edge that one. Then we've got Selby against Maguire. As I was saying to you, Mark's been in great form this season and he really has been looking close to back to his best. They're saying that he's been working with a new coach towards the end of last season. And that's really helped to improve his game. And I'm really one of the world championships as well. You saw he got beat in the semi-final in the deciding frame against Ronnie O'Sullivan there. And as I was saying, this season he's really won a couple of tournaments. So Stephen Maguire's not been in, in such good form this season. He had a good end to last season winning the Tour Championship. But this season not been so good. And being, he's one of them players that can be quite inconsistent. And 
I would say Mark Selby should win that match quite comfortably. Then you've got Neil Robinson and Yang Bing To. As I was saying, Neil's one of the players in great form, one of the best players in the world, and his confidence is going to be high. Yang's a really good player. We've seen young player coming through. He's done really well. He's got to some finals, and he's won a tournament as well. And good player, but I think Neil will have too much for him, and again, win that match quite comfortably. So that's the top half of the draw. And as you can see, two of the four best players and the favourites, you say, for this tournament, Neil Robinson and Mark Selby in the top half. And that leads us to the bottom half where you've got Judge Trump and Ronnie O'Sullivan. So the matches in the bottom half are Judge has got David Gilbert in his opening match. You think, as I was saying, Judge is the man to beat and he should have too much for David Gilbert. David Gilbert is a good player, but Judge right now is just on another level. And I think he's going to win that match comfortably. Then you've got Kyron Wilson against Jack Lewaski. That's going to be a close match. We know Jack's in good form. As I was saying to you, he got to the final of a recent World Grand Prix. Done really well there in the final as well. Like he was training and he made a comeback against Judd and looked at one point to make the match go right towards the end. But Judd came through to win it 10-7. But yeah, it was a good match. And he played well throughout that tournament. He beat Selby in the semi-final of that one. And that was a really good performance for him. kyron has been in good form. He got to the World Championship semi-finals we saw in the last season. And this season as well, he won the Championship League match, uh, final match against Judd Trump earlier in the season. So, been getting to the latter parts of tournaments quite consistently as well. So, difficult to call between them two. But I'm going to edge for Kyron to just come through that one. Then next up, we've got John Higgins and Mark Allen. As I was saying to you, Mark Allen won the champion of champions this season. He's a really good player and, you know, on his day can beat anyone. He, in that champions of champions tournament, he beat all three of the best players in the world, you know, to he came through against Ronnie O'Sullivan, Judd Trump and Neil Robertson. Like, that's to beat them three successively to go on and win a tournament. That's the hardest way you can win any tournament. And he done that. So, really got to give him big respect for that. He's up against... One of the greats for John Higgins, as we know, one of the legends of the game. He's not won so much recently, but he seems to be coming back to form. I was watching him in the Championship League this week, and he's looking like he's getting into some better form, and he's always a danger to anyone. So, difficult match that one to call. Again, it's going to be close. Um, a lot of these matches will be close. Uh, I'm going to go for John Higgins to win that one. So, the last match of the opening round is Ronnie O'Sullivan versus Ding Yuanhai, and... Neither player has been in the greatest of forms, you would say, this season. Ronnie, we know he won the World Championship at the end of last season, but this season has not been in the best form. He did get to the final of the Northern Ireland Open and some semi-finals, but he's not looked anywhere near his best. And Ding as well, not been so good this season. Showing a bit of better form in the last couple of tournaments, but he had a poor season. So, you would say, based just on the head-to-head -head vote, and being the better player, obviously, as we know, you've got to back Ronnie O'Sullivan in that one. So... Going for Ronnie to win that one. Okay, so that takes us through to the last eight. And based on my opening round predictions, that would mean Mark Williams will be playing Stuart Bingham. Very difficult match to call. As I was saying, both not been in the greatest form recent times, but are both are world champions. And difficult, as I was saying, 50-50 match, but I'm going to give that one to Mark. And then Selby versus Robertson would be a phenomenal mouthwater in quarterfinal if that was to happen. Difficult one to call. Both are in great form this season. Recent times, uh, this season, they played a couple of matches and Neil's managed to win them in deciding frames. One of the best matches I've seen was at the Champion of Champions tournament where they were just trading centuries and the standard was phenomenal. And yeah, so we be really good to watch that match. But I'm, a this tight match, but I'm going to go Mark to win that one. Then Judd Trump versus Kyron Wilson. As I was saying to you, I think Judd is the man to beat, most dominant player, and I think he'll win that. Kyron has got a good head-to-head -head record against Judd, but I think Judd will have too much for him and win that one. And then the final match for the quarterfinals would be Higgins and O'Sullivan. Great, great rivalry between these two players over many years. You know, they came through together and they've played against each other numerous times and it's always so good to watch them two play each other. I just think because of the form situation of Ronnie this season, I'm going to go for John to win that one. Just think he's in bit of better form having had this week playing in the championship league there it's in the same arena so he's had that more practice on them tables as well so i'm gonna go for Judd john to edge that one against ronnie or against higgins as well in recent times so go for trump to win that one so that'll give us the last four of mark selby versus 
Mark Williams and Judd Trump versus John Higgins. So I'd go for Selby to beat Williams in that one. As I say, he's a form player and a better player in recent times. And Judd to beat John Higgins. Again, same reasons. Better player in recent times. And he's got a great head-to-head record, head record in recent times as well against John. So that gives the final with Judd Trump and Mark Selby. And for that, got to go with Judd. As I was saying to you at the beginning, he is the best in the world, the world number one at the moment, the most consistent player, the most successful player this season and last season and he just he looks like his game's in really good work in all the all aspects of it. You know, he's really firing on all cylinders. To, even in the UK championship, like Neil had to play so well to beat him and I believe Judd was a little bit below his best there in the final. And if Judge is at his best, I believe now he's got to that level where his best game is better than anyone's. And I believe even the great one year Sullivan's best game now is not able to beat the best game of Judge Trump. Maybe the Sullivan of five, six years ago in his peak, you know, that O'Sullivan then against the Judd now, that would be one hell of a match. Hard to predict how that would go. But I just believe now the best game of Ronnie now compared to the best game of Judd now, I think Judge has got but a little bit better than Ronnie and he's more consistent. Ronnie's not as consistent as he used to be as back in the day. So Judd is the one they all have to beat and I believe he will win this tournament and be the Masters Champion for 2021. Thank you. Please remember to like and subscribe and share. Thank you for your time.